Hello, 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 all you wonderful and creative humans. I'm Pixie, and this is Pixie's Projects. Welcome in if you're new, or welcome back if you've been here before. Today, we're going to do a page in Minor Risa Dirk Asian by Rita Berman, and this is the page finished. Stay tuned to see what we did to get here. The colors we're going to use are going to be on the screen so you can screenshot them and they will come up for each set of things that I do. Like you just saw the leaves and stems and then there'll be the flower, the dragonfly, the vase, etc. Um, just wanted to get that out of the way while all the info was coming up. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I hope you're getting to do something creative with your time. Um, I know it. whatever day it is, I'm probably doing something creative. It may not be coloring. But it's going to be something. And I say that because I don't know what day this video is going out exactly at this time. But today is June 1st and I'm being creative. So technically I'm already doing something creative with my day. Wow, that was very convoluted. Anyway, I hope everybody's just doing really well. Um, I did a voiceover for this because the video took me about... Or the filming of the video took about three hours because uh, it took me almost three hours to finish the page I believe the ending time was two hours and 42 minutes and of course that included like picking out colors because the camera just runs I just let it while I'm sitting trying to color something I just leave the camera go until I'm done or until that session's done and I start again and I think you'll be able to see that if you're intently watching the video you'll be able to see color changes in the lighting because this was done over the course of four or five sits. Um, sits. I'm going to go with it. Four or five different sessions of coloring or sits as now they're known. Um, I'm having so much trouble talking today, but I still want to do this video. I want to get it out there. It's been sitting in my camera since the beginning of May and I really enjoyed doing this page and I want to share it with you. So, yeah, these are the Derwent Drawing Pencils, and we don't know a lot about them. They are a set of 24 color pencils from Derwent. They are for, like, landscape art. Um, so they're very muted, and there's a lot of greens and blues and browns in the set. Not too much other colors go on in there. There's, like, a Mars violet and some orange color, you know, but not not too much of a, a range of colors past I was going to say what you'd see in nature, but you see everything in nature past those muted landscape tones that you would expect, like the browns, greens, and blues. So there's not a lot going on in the set, except that they are the most wonderful pencils. They just feel so good on almost every paper. I've tried them on. Um, I can't speak for all the papers, but Millie Murata's books, these Rita Berman books, they feel just wonderful in... Um, also, my miniatures book, they were amazing, which is not Amazon paper, but it is another cheaper type of paper. Um, yeah, they're just great pencils all around, and I really enjoy working with them. So I wanted to showcase them on a page, and that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to use them for everything, and I'm sure that you can find comparable colors in any of your sets that you have at home, so you could color along if you wanted to. Um, with the leaves, you'll notice if you're paying attention to them at all. I know sometimes I just listen to people talk and look up once in a while. But I'm going back in after I, I start dark and I go to light. And then I come back in with the dark just to kind of make it more pronounced. So that the leaves look more dimensional, which is what's happening right here. Um, and I had just done it to the leaf above that as well. So yeah, I left all the leaves in this time because in my last sped up voiceover color and chat type video I only colored the first leaf and then did the rest off camera or you know deleted them from the camera and then just came back in and started the next thing and I was asked to show more of the leaves next time so I added them now it's got the colors for the flower so that means we're going in here to do the flower um, and like I said the set is very limited in as far as colors to make flowers and things like that, but it's definitely something that can be done, and this was kind of a challenge for me. So I'm using, like, the reds and pinks and purples that we have in that set that... And I say reds and pinks and purples, but they're all very muted because I'm trying to make this flower appear... Um, 
if not white, then like definitely a very pale color, which it, it does work out. I did actually achieve what I wanted. It's just not visible immediately because there's so much color until I get that background down, which will be obviously at the end of the video since it's not first. Um, so it, it does actually do what I want it to do, which is be very pale or almost like white like. It's just I've used a lot of color to get there. Um, so yeah, right now we're just adding in the shadows around where I think the flower petals overlap each other or where they curl over each other. Um, I missed the colors on the little list I left at the beginning of it, but I think this is one of the reds that I have or reddish tones. But yeah, it looks pretty good so far, but we got to keep going because we're just building up color. This I think this one's definitely the Mars Violet, um, but we're just building up those colors just to get what we want from it. Um, and it is, it's, it was an interesting challenge to see if I could get light flowers out of these colors and still build up the color as well, which sounds weird. I don't know how to describe it any other way, but regardless, the Derwent drawing pencils are definitely one of my favorite sets at this point. I'm just not using them in a lot of books because of the limited palette, and I'm, well, they were a little bit expensive as well, and I don't want to just use them on everything. I have lots of serviceable pencils, and I do try to change them out all the time so that I'm not, um getting bored with what I have or not using what I have because that's another problem. I don't want to just let some pencils sit on the shelf. So I do change them out quite frequently. So every time I do one of these videos, it might be a different set of pencils because I want to try and use stuff that you might have as well. So yeah, you can see the color on this is building up quite a bit. And I still think it's funny that this is eight times speed and we're still just waddling along on this flower <laughs> and this is like a gray here um because I thought that would help get the color I was trying to achieve and it does seem to be helping but anyway yeah like I said it's June 1st we've got a lot of the month ahead of us and I just got done making my video plans and filming my completed pages video and then I thought I'd get this one ready to go so it'll go up on the channel soon I think it'll be up this weekend. I did um, a list of my videos for the month because I am trying to film and have videos up every Wednesday and at least once on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday. And if I feel like it, I'll be able to do two. But I do want to do Wednesday and Saturday or Sunday, definitely. So they've got I've got that figured out. We've got some products that were sent to us that I'm going to show in a couple of videos soon. I'm doing a video on how I pack for when I'm going to take my coloring with me. Like when we go to visit David's parents overnight or if I go down the bay to see my dad and I want to take some stuff. Um, so I am going to do an entire video of that. I'm just trying to remember what we're doing. I am going to restart the fun size coloring again this month. Um, I am looking at either like if you see to the right here of the what I'm coloring. There's all these little images. I think they may be too big for me to do as fun size coloring, but I might try them. And if they take too long, it'll still be filmed. So I will go ahead and share that at some point. But if they're too long to do, then I'm going to go ahead and try some in Johanna Bassford's books. Um, but I just want to get something that I can do in less than a half hour in real time and not sped up. So that I can talk to you about what I'm doing as I go. There's the colors for the vase in case you're trying to screenshot them. Um, and I'm doing the vase all in blue because I just thought that would look really cool. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So, if, yeah, the pictures that are on the right, and not necessarily these, but any of her pictures like that in any of her books um, are certainly interesting and possibly something I could use. But yeah, the, the thing about fun size coloring or bite size coloring, however I'm going to word that, is that it's something that's finished in a half hour, 20 minutes, that time frame from in real time so that you can see that here's 20 minutes you had set aside or a half hour you had, you can actually accomplish something. You know, you could do that with big pages as well, but I just don't think it's as satisfying 
to see or is this um, as much of a satisfaction thing to accomplish, like to start to finish, I've got something done. It feels pretty good. Um, so I do want to show that kind of stuff just so that we can at least see that we can use our time and get something accomplished and feel some sense of satisfaction. Even if the whole page isn't done, at least the start of it is, or like one part of an image is. And I don't think it works as well with things like this, where it's like I could come in and do the flower. Um, we lose interest, I think, in seeing that. But anyway, that's coming up this month. I'm trying to think what else. I'm going to do another drill and chill. It didn't seem to have a lot of people that wanted to watch it, but the few that did want to watch it asked for another one. So I would like to do another one because diamond painting is something I enjoy. Um, I was asked to do one from the Black Magic Edition from Paint Gem, so I'm going to do that. And I do hope you'll stop by and check it out because it's like this. It's sped up, but at the end we have a completed diamond painting. They are super cute. They're so tiny and they just make me happy. Um... But I am trying to do more project things on the channel. I'm also trying to get a video up with my handmade clay stuff because I've been asked to show that. I do miniatures. And every time I think about pulling out the box of stuff <laughs> and sharing it, I just get sleepy. Um, there's a lot. I just, I made a lot of stuff. And I've taken a break from it for quite a long time. But every time I look at the stuff, I think about pulling it back out. And I don't know if I'm ready to do that right now. Um, I haven't done any in a couple of months. But it's another thing I enjoy doing. There's not much I don't enjoy doing. Um, you know, if it's a craft or a hobby and I can figure it out, I'm going to wind up messing with it somehow. And of course, buying stuff for it too, because that's who I am. Oh my goodness. So yeah, we're getting all these colors into the vase. I did want it to be blue, but I wanted it to look white as well. And if you've watched other videos I've done or haven't, it doesn't really matter. I can say it here too. I have a hard time leaving any space uncolored. It looks great. I've seen people do it. It looks amazing to have that, that pure white space in the center of something as a highlight. Uh, I don't know how you do it. I don't, I mean, I, I get it. I get, like, how it works. I don't know how you stop coloring before all the picture is colored. Um, I just don't seem capable of doing that. I've tried, and I'm practicing, and I still have trouble. Like, you can see on that little berry to the left, there's, like, a little tiny white spot. But I think I go back and get rid of it. Um, I can't remember exactly. Here's the dragonfly body colors, if you're stopping and pausing and taking screenshots. Um, and yes, I did use three colors on this dragonfly's body because something's wrong with me. You do not need all those colors. You don't need to color it all in. You can leave a little white spot like you should, but I didn't, you know, but you could. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm moving on to the wings and the wings are going to be both green and blue. I just did the greens on the insides of all the leaves the blue on the outside. I didn't want to go too far into it because they are, it's just a tiny dragonfly. And I mean, I already lost the plot on the dragonfly's body. I didn't need to do that here. I'm going over it with the Chinese white just to blend it together and um, dull it down a bit more. That white is amazing, by the way. And then I'm taking my darkest green, which would be on the list from the leaves. I cannot remember what it was called. And using that as a shadow under that bottom leaf. And then I have a Signo Gold, Signo Uniball, Uniball Signo, Uniball Signo Gold pen. And I'm just adding some gold leafing to the, the vase. I think it would just add something. And I think, I really think it did. I think it just made it pop. But I'm just adding a little bit of that here and there to the circles that are on the vase. I didn't want to go crazy with it. So I know it's there and it's at the foot. Yeah, there you go right along the foot of the vase as well. And I think that really helped a lot. I've just added paper behind because I'm coming in with the Colo Zoo pencils now, which is how we're doing our background. I had these on a haul video and everybody wanted to see how they worked on a background. And this is the first one that I've done with them. I have since done three more pages with the Colo Zoos as a background. And in case you don't know, they're a three-in-one pencil. Um, 
And what does that mean? I forget. It's You can use them as a pencil. You can use them as a watercolor. And I think the other one they said is crayon. But I don't know. You can use it like this, which is what I'm doing. And then I'm going to add water to it. You could leave it like this, too. Um, this is just it as a crayon. But I'm going to add water to it because I'm trying to blend it out, which you'll see in a moment, um, up against the edges. Here you go. So I'm just trying to take that color out so I don't have that that straight line everywhere. Um, and then after this, I'm going to add, this is like the lightest pink in the set. And then I will leave a link for these in the description in case you're interested in these pencils, because they are pretty cool. Um, I believe they're made for kids, but I, they work really well. I'm not even going to, you know, kid about that. They work really nice. So after I do all this and blend all this out, I'm going to come back in. They have metallics in the set and neons as well, but I'm not using the neons. I took the metallic pink in the set, and I forget the name of that one. They're all named after animals. I think that's why it's Kolozu, which is kind of cool. But yeah, after this, I'm going to come in with the metallics, and then I'm going to um, use them with the brush to the crayon, and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But that's the other way I've used them in the few pages I've done that with these as a background. I've only done it where I've colored with them. I have left them um, un... I haven't water used water on some of them in some of my pages as well. But in this particular one, I've used the water here, and then I've used the water the other way. And like I said, you'll see that in a few moments because we're almost done this part, and then I'll be adding that metallic pink. And this is where you can kind of see it. I'm reaching over. Oh, there we go. I thought I was never going to pick it up. And it looks very bright right now. But if you wait till the end, I do have a period of time at the end where I have the over the overhead ring lights off because they were so bright and it made everything look really like fluorescent. And then once I shut the light off, everything was fine again. But it was just the way the lighting worked while I was filming this because um, we had a lot of daylight and we had the ring lights. I think it was just way too much. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of getting that in there and feathering it out until I have nothing left on the brush. And you can just see it's white because I don't want any harsh lines. But these are a lot of fun to work with. Like I said, I will. I'll leave a link down below in case you're interested in them. I guess I'll leave the Derwent uh, drawing pencils as well. I'll, I can leave everything I used if you want me to, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, I didn't think about that. They will be affiliate links that will, you know, give a few dollars or a few pennies to the channel that I can use to buy other things if we want them. Um, but yeah, they will be affiliate links, but I will leave links below for you and you can, you know, choose to use them or not, obviously, but that's the metallic crayon there. And you can't really see the metallics. Like they're not like strong metallic, um, but there is like a bit of a sheen to them when you just look at the page as like in person on camera. I'm not seeing too much of it at all, but I do like the colors and you can see that kind of what I was talking about earlier. It washes out that flower. That's what's happening there. The flower got washed back out, which is what I wanted. Now we're just adding some white Posca to the I think they're pussy willows coming out of the top of that, but I don't know. And I just added them inside the flower too to get rid of some of that darkness. But yeah, I'm generally happy with this whole page. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you like it too. We're just continuing to add and add and add because I can never let anything go. So of course we're going to have white edges for our dragonfly. And all his little wings will be outfitted with the white paint as well. Sorry, I'm just watching me color those wings white. I forgot to talk. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's very interesting to see that going in like um, fast motion like that. And I'm taking the Uniball Signo again and just adding gold to all those little crosses in the background because I really just think it adds a lot to the page. Um I definitely need to get away without doing it. I just feel like it really makes the page pop. So I'm doing 
each and every little cross all over the page, which it sounds ridiculous, but it really didn't take any time at all. And it did, I think, add more than more than enough for the amount of time it took. But yeah, if there's any book in particular you'd like to see me color in or anything you want to see me use, let me know in the comments below because I would like to do more of these types of videos and I would like to do things everybody wants to see. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, Take a moment, please, to like and subscribe so you can see more of the content. I never ask people to subscribe or to like the video or to... Com well, I always ask people to comment. I always ask, you know, what you want to see and stuff like that. Here we are. The lights are off now, and you can see how delicate the flower and the vase is. I'm sorry. I'm interrupting my own self. But, yeah, it's very delicate now. So I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, friends, have a colorful day. Bye.